Alrighty guys, so I'm leaving the Makati area, headed to another part of uh, a sub. Hi, how are you sir? Uh, grab? Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, okay, come on, yeah, thank you. Alright, so I'm gonna take a taxi. This was the hotel I was staying at, Makati Aerobeds. I'm gonna put this bag away. And then head over to this other area known as Tagwig. Tagwig, I think, that's how you say it. Dagui, something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, never been to this part of the city. It's a bit farther away from Central, but I got a good deal on an Airbnb, which I'll show you guys. So, hi. Alrighty, let's get inside. Grab taxi, man. It's the most clutch way to travel around the city. If you got bags and stuff. Hi, how are you, sir? How you doing? Let's do it. All right. So, um, yeah, I don't know what part of, uh, sir, uh, the place where we're going is, what area is that? That's Tag Tagwig, right? Tagwig, yes, Tag but, uh, Tagwig. Uh, Western Bikutan. Okay. It's, is that, is that another city or is it Manila? Uh, of course, another city. It's a different city. Okay. City. Okay. Cool. It's so, the yeah. city of Tagig. It's the city of Tagig, yeah. as you heard the man say. Is it, um, how far is it from here? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I, I'm still checking okay. uh, the, the map. Okay, great. The navigation. Okay. I'm not moving yet. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Well, I mean, uh, how can we get out here? If he's not moving. Yeah. He should. He should move. Hurry up. <laughs> Hurry up, navigation. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're headed out of here. Um, I'll show you guys some sights along the way. And I'm excited to discover a new area. So we'll do it together. Are you from uh, Manila? No. Where are you from? Uh, from north. From north. Nueva Ecija. Where is that? North. What, where is the city? Nueva Ecija. No, province. Province. Nueva Ecija. Nueva Ecija. Uh, three hours away from here. If you, if, you, if you have a car. Okay. Do you, do you still go back there to visit or? Uh, actually, uh, more than, more than that ago, I was there. Oh, okay, okay. Now my brother passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to, to attend the funeral. Yeah. Do you do you plan on retiring in Manila, or you will retire back in your city? Uh, actually, uh, of course, uh, my last resort also is uh, of course my province. Your yeah, province, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no other way to place uh, if you are older now. Yeah. Just waiting for time. Just the time. To spend there. <laughs> But yeah. you're still a young man, huh? I'm uh, more than 50. Really? Yeah. God bless you. You look great. Uh, I'm more than 50 now. <laughs> you know, I'm 56 years old. 56? Yeah. Wow. You've seen a lot of life. Uh, but uh, uh, thanks, thanks to God because I'm still a I'm still, uh, lot of energy. You do have energy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God. And you look great. I can, you know? I can drive all day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Every day. 12 hours, 10 hours. Wow. Yeah. yeah, and driving takes a lot of energy, right? Yeah, yeah. it's like, it's like uh, exercise. It is, it is. Especially driving through some of these small streets like yeah, we were yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's not easy. I think these are the buildings, these white buildings. No, south, no, south. South. Uh, it's East Union Drive. We have to. We have to go to Tower Number Three. Ah, Avida. Yeah. Tower. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Alrighty. So looks like we've arrived. Looks like we have arrived. Huh? Yeah. 
Tower number three. These are all new. These look all new, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Alrighty guys, so this looks like it's like some kind of new building complex. This is the building. So this is the Airbnb. Um, it's like, has its own little area here. So we're gonna go inside. And once I'm inside the Airbnb, I will show you guys what it looks like. And I'll tell you how much I'm paying. Alrighty guys, so here we have the Airbnb that I'm staying at. So, just for context purposes, I am paying about 19, 18, 19 dollars a day, which is quite the bargain. And I'm not too far from the city, as you saw. It took us from where I was in Makati to get here. It took me about like 15, 15 to 20 minutes, barring no traffic, of course. So here we go. Here we have, let's start with the bathroom. First of all, I have to say this place is very clean, very immaculate. Um, I'll leave the Airbnb link as well and the host is really accommodating really nice lady she's done everything I mean the place is super super spotless it smells good it's clean everything is very clean um, yeah the bathroom is nice as you can see you got the stand-up shower and then uh, got a nice table here you can work place to hang things you do laundry Got a little kitchen area with the fridge. She even gave me drinking water, which comes from a place. She said I can use it. You got a nice electric uh, little plate, hot plate. A ventilation fan. That's why the smell is good, because I guess they use that quite a bit. Sink. A nice TV, smart TV with Netflix and YouTube and all that. Apparently this Wi-Fi is really good too which I need. I mean, Lord knows I need good Wi-Fi. So, got a nice little couch area. You can sit down and, you know, even work here or just relax and watch TV. Nice painting behind me. Um, the bed, of course, is very clean, guys. Very, very clean here. And, ah, oh, I have to say, it's quite comfortable too. Ah, man. Yeah. It's nice. I feel like I'm home. I really do. That's why Airbnbs are nice if you find the right ones. But yeah, guys, this is... Uh... Oh, also, this place has a pool and a gym. I mean, I'm going to go show you that in a second. But yeah, this is it, guys. $18, $19 a day. How can you go wrong with it? Got an AC, of course, you need it here in the Philippines. But it's the overall 360 view. <sighs> all right, guys. So out here, they have, I guess these are all the surrounding towers. And then this is the pool. You have like an infinity pool kind of thing here. And ah, this way? Okay. Yeah, so it's really, really nice, man. Super, super clean. Everything is very clean, new, nice towers. I'm definitely gonna use the pool. I don't know if we can use it right now because I think they're doing some maintenance on it, but she said that the host said after like a certain time it's open. Let's see how the water is. Oh, nice, perfect temperature too. Look at the grass, everything's so nice here. Also, guys, if you're coming with children, it's good to know they have like a little jungle gym area here for the kids. You can, um, you know, bring your kids here and play. This building has everything, man. And over here, they have like a little hangout room that you can use. Oh, nice. Place you can sit down. Little air hockey table. Foosball table, interesting, and some board games. Yeah. Oh, this way, okay. It's good living, guys. Good living. And then over here is the gym. Okay. So, wow. AC gym. Wow, guys, this is amazing, man. All this for 
$19 a day? I mean, geez, why didn't I do this earlier? Got a full mirror. Got all your weights here. I'm definitely gonna use these. Definitely gonna use this gym. Really nice though, man. Got a treadmills, some cycles, some bench pressing. Pull up bar, my favorite. Nice. Oh, I can't wait to use the gym, guys. This is gonna be awesome. I'm so glad I booked this place. Like I said, I'll definitely leave a link for you guys in the description. If you come here to Manila, like I said, this isn't too far away from the central area. If you need a place that's cozy, you gotta work from home, um, with good Wi-Fi and all of that, this is definitely gonna be the place you should stay. And we're gonna discover this area of Taguig, 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 something like that. That's the name of this city. Uh, technically, it's like an outskirt of Manila, but not too far. But yeah, guys, super, super happy to be here. Such a nice place. And for the price, I mean, you can't go wrong with it. But yeah, guys, uh, with that being said, I am going to sign out on this one. More Philippines content coming soon. Remember, continue to learn, continue to grow, and there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.